Hello, everyone. Today we are living exciting times. I have my new phone, which I'm vlogging with, which is super amazing because the quality is so much better now. It's on 3:50 p.m. I'm about to uh, drive to the center, and there's this uh, like big discount day started in this local uh, supermarket, and I'm gonna go and buy some things there, some supplies. And also yesterday, I um, put on this like Facebook Facebook group that I'm looking for a map, like a map, world map standing on a table. Like if anyone has those like just lying around, completely useless, I could take it. And the best thing is that everything that's given away in this group is free. So somebody actually, someone actually commented like, "Well, I have one. When can you pick it up?" And I'm just like. I'll come tomorrow because I had other plans yesterday. So now I will go and pick it up as well, and I will be making it into a moon, which is super awesome, and I'm excited. And welcome to this journey to see how it turns out. Here is my gold. Um, I got golden for the holder. Then I have uh, this is actually. Uh, no, this one. Uh, matte primer, which is great, which I think is good. And then I got some silver. So I, 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 these look kind of similar in color, but I think that it's good to have primer for this look. So yeah, it's good that it's great. Okay, so I have those colors. Then I also got um, white and black acrylic. Uh, this paintbrush. It, the, in the instructions, it was used a toothbrush, but these were like a discount. They were like what, 20 cents, so I was like, oh yeah, fine. let's take this one. And this was also a discount, so I can like those um, this wash sponge used. So I think like because this was meant for painting, so this just as good. Okay, so these are my supplies, which I will be. And of course, I'm gonna take some. I'm gonna take some magazines to protect. Tip, remember to have lots of patience when you take this shit off of its holder. Because I broke my nail and I was afraid that I would break the holder because it's just plastic. Or I'd break the ball, I don't know. But okay, it's finally off. And now we get to the painting point. Okay, so to be quite honest, my knowledge of like spray painting is limited. I have spray, spray painted small things with adult supervision but now that I'm adult myself so I don't quite actually know like, what to do um, I had the instructions from Pinterest and they are in French but I studied those at school today so I just hope I'll survive with that knowledge there should be like there are these safety tips here that you should wear glasses and mask and gloves and like clothes overall to protect yourself, it's irritating, it's dangerous, you shouldn't breathe it, keep 25 centimeters away from the spot, like, and don't, don't, don't do anything with this. But yeah, I'm going to use this. I'm a bit afraid, don't try this without actually knowing what to do. I will not take responsibility of anything you can do with after you watch my video. I'm gonna go outside, there's no, and I have magazines with me, and I will spray paint the ball with the primer. Okay, let's go in. Alright, I got the first the northern part of the world covered, I think. And um, yep, I'll give it 50 to 30 minutes time to dry before I turn it around and paint the rest of the world with the grey primer. I hope the wing doesn't blow it away while well, it's here. And actually, I saw something like um, I had a bit, a bit crusty start, so I think this got with it. This happened because of it. But I think it's okay because the moon is not completely smooth. It has acne, so I think it's fine, even though it, it's not perfectly smooth from the surface. And uh, yeah. 
be right back. All right, I am in my creepy warehouse room. Somebody has left here a TV, and I guess a TV stand. And I'm gonna leave this one to try here. I maybe messed up a bit, but I can cover it with other paint. You can still see some like blue sea over there, but I think because I have the silver silver paint that I can fix it with it. And I will have like circles and stuff, so I'm not that worried about it. But at least it's bright now, and I guess it's supposed to have like seven days to properly dry. But I don't know. I give it to try for over the weekend, and I'll see you on Tuesday what's going on. Next up, I'm playing the dangerous game. I have the holder. And I only have the golden paint, and I'm not sure should I be putting also the primer on top of this one. But um, I'll just try straight with the gold and see how it turns out. Wish me luck. Uh, I also protected the parts that I don't want to get um, painted, which are the like inside parts. I don't want to waste any good paint, so I just protect them with some paper and tape. And I'm actually contemplating on the wire because I don't need it, it's broken and like after painting the light won't show anymore. So I'm just like thinking yeah, could I just like you know cut it? But I'm not sure about it yet. But um I'll keep you updated. I am not sure did I cover everything but like boy this looks good. Apparently this didn't one didn't need the primer paint. I just hope I got everything out of there. And I guess Apart from that, it should be good. I'm not sure. All right, now it has been two weeks, two weeks, one week after finishing this earth with the silver spots. And now I'm inside and I am about to use some black acrylic paint and this kind of like sponge brush to do something. I'm not quite sure. I'm just trying to look like pictures of moon and uh, moons and like get some inspiration and just dab some black paint here and there to give it some di dimension and then I also have this uh, white acrylic paint which I'm gonna use to decorate it later but now let's see how I will use the black one All right, this is what it looks like after painting my moon. I need to wash this one more time. So yeah, um, I figured out that use a very, very little amount of paint. The less, the better, because you can always add more, but you cannot take off. So use a little bit of black, a little bit of white, mix them together to gray. And after, the first step, the dark, and then I used my almost used tape roll to dab it on white and grey and create circles on the surface and I suggest use a white on top of the darker colors so it will end up looking like this which is pretty close and accurate to the how I imagined the moon look like or how it turns out to me I also did some dar some darker circles but yeah, yeah and I also had the small paintbrush which I used to create like this sort of texture on top of the moon. Oh boy! I, I'd say it's ready. Ah, I'm 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 overwhelmed. This is all the IKEA I need. 